how's it going? I've got a lot of things to cover today. We've got the Shopify documentary on how they went about going and creating the presentation for when they went public. I've got a great demo on how to do discount codes, and there's been a few slight changes to the app on the Shopify dashboard. That's all next. So yesterday, Shopify put on their YouTube channel a short documentary about how they went about uh, for their investors for when they went public. I highly recommend you check it out. I put a link to it right here. I watched this and this speaks exactly to why all of the partners love Shopify so much. Just the way they think about problems and the way they go about things. Next up, we've got uh, a quick demo that I'm gonna show you on uh, discount codes and then I'm gonna show you how they've changed the app page. So let's jump into it. So offering discount codes is a great way to encourage shoppers in order to buy additional stuff from your store. And one of the great user experiences is if you can automatically apply the discount code when the customer clicks a button or adds a certain number of things to your cart. And there's a way to do this in Shopify. It's kind of one of those hidden features that uh, once you find out about it, you can't believe that you lived without it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our dashboard and we want to actually set up a discount code. So let's go to discount codes and we're going to add in, I've already added in a discount code called Summer Deals, but I'm going to add in another one here and we're going to call this uh, Fall Deals, or actually we're going to call this Free Shipping. Free Shipping. A free shipping discount code. And it's going to offer free shipping when, uh, for any shipping rate that's less than or equal to, say, uh, $10. It's going to apply to just uh, just all countries because that's all I have set up. And for right now, it's going to be unlimited because it's going to be um, auto-applied. So we're going to hit save on that. And free shipping is what we're going to use as our discount code. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually go in to do some liquid changes. So in order to make the uh, discount code automatically apply to someone's checkout, we need an action in order to do that. So I'm going to use um, a page as a demo just because it's easier for me to code in it and I don't have to go into the templates. But this technique is always usable with inside your template code. So every individual uh, theme template that you have has different codes so your changing might be different in there but the theory still applies. So what we want to do is I've gone and created a page here with a free shipping button is what we're going to put in here. Free shipping. And then in the code, what we're going to do is first we're going to highlight this. So the link that we need to create is a URL string that will automatically apply this discount code. Now this URL can be used on any type of button. So if you have a button that you've put on your WordPress site this link, uh, that goes to your um, goes to your Shopify cart and, or your Shopify store and you wanted to apply a discount code because they came through a specific mailing list, you can use this link anywhere. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, typing in correctly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to type in checkout because that is where we want um, the item to go to. And then we want to have a um, question mark, which means we're going to be adding a variable. Now the variable we're going to add in there is called discount and then we're going to add the discount code free shipping. And this is the name of the code that we wanted. We're going to hit insert link. We're going to save that. And then we're going to jump over and we're going to view it. So we're going to view the page. And once we're on the page, we're going to click on the free shipping link and we'll see what happens. So it now takes us to uh, the checkout page and we can see that the link has automatic or the discount has automatically been applied to this product. Now I can remove that and show you that it's now there and we can refresh it and we can, oh sorry, let's remove that one there. Uh, because discount is up in here in the URL, we are going to just refresh that there. And then what we can do is we can go back to this here and we can hit it again and we can see that it contains it in there. So anytime that you add the variable discount equals free shipping or discount equals discount code, it will then add it to your checkout. So it really allows you to expand your creativity when it comes to how you apply your discount. That pretty much does it for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up in the comments down below. Or if you have a custom project that you need done, you can always book a call with me and I'd love to talk to you about it. That's all for this week.